What's up guys, it's your boy Sev from Sports of Sev and I'm back with another video for Just Good Network. So as we all know, James Harden has been struggling as of recent and in all honesty he's been struggling since he's put on the Philadelphia 76er uniform. I mean, he hasn't been able to find a consistent shot since he's been traded to his new team and he's been shooting subpar ever since. I mean, we just saw game one with no Joel Embiid versus the Miami Heat. He shot five for 13. He shot two for seven from three point range and he had five turnovers. All right, so this is not the James Harden that we all used to know when he was in Houston and he was consistently being the leading scorer and consistently dominating single-handedly in these playoff series. And we've seen him slowly, slowly regress. I mean, we saw P.J. Tucker right at tip-off, guard him at the inbound. We've also seen guys switch off with him with Gabe Vincent, also guarding him past half court. So he's been getting locked up all game long in game one. So with game two coming tonight, we'll see if he can find a way to get past these guys. But in all honesty, I like what the Miami Heat have been doing defensively. They're rotating when they need to rotate. They've been getting James Harden to shoot less effectively than um, he was prior to being a Philadelphia 76er. So they're making him shoot the bad shots. They're making him miss. And they're making him turn over the ball, which is exactly what they needed to do. With no Joel Embiid on the floor, all the focus should be on James Harden. You have Tyrese Maxey also for the Philadelphia 76ers that you have to worry about. But with P.J. Tucker and Gabe Vincent following those guys around all game in Game 1, I expect the same thing in Game 2. James Harden has been struggling, but in Game 2, he needs to step up if they want to win this series.